Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing kind of like a film your own adventure makeup tutorial situation, except for I'm not gonna poll you guys. I am actually just gonna open up video snaps of you guys telling me what to wear. So we're gonna go step by step by step through my normal routine from primer to foundation to concealer to my eye look to everything. I'm gonna kind of open up drawers and snap that so that you guys kind of see what I have. And then like the first snap that I open that tells me what to do. I'm just gonna do it and hopefully we end up with a very beautiful, glamorous end result. And I just thought this sounded like a really fun idea. So let's just dive right in because I'm craving a full face of makeup and it needs to happen. Okay, she needs a filter. Oh my God. All right guys, the adventure begins. What primer should I wear? The primer drawer. All right, you guys. Take your pick. And now I just give it like a couple of minutes and uh, then I'll open some snaps. I don't know what that bright yellow one was, um, but I think you should use that because I don't know what it is. It's Sorry. sunscreen, oh no. Well, I could use a little sunscreen. We'll do that and let's find another one too. Tati, could you use the Hourglass Foundation because I like the video you did on it. All right, we'll use the Hourglass Foundation. We're still gonna try to find primer. Hi, Tati. I think you should use the Pink Origins Primer. Okay, Pink Origins Primer. We're gonna do a little, I think it's Glossier Sunscreen and the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. I'm also gonna show you guys right now my concealer so that you guys can, you know, let me know what I should conceal my under eye circles with. All right, you guys, I don't know what shit I'm gonna do for the Vanish. Nude, beige, buff, something in here. And what concealer should I wear? Like from here. These are the ones that I'm keeping. I am awful and I still need to like throw away some of this stuff over here. She's got the goods. Okay, I should be using this more often. This is one of the few kind of SPF items that does not make me break out. This is from Glossier, love Glossier. And it's not greasy, like your foundation goes on nicely over it. So thanks for the reminder. All right, we're going in with the Origins Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. Yes. Ooh, it's so, it's chilly. Ah, oh, feels good. Man, I always feel like I look like Jim Carrey from The Mask whenever I just have foundation on for some reason. <laughs> Okay. All right, you guys, let's find out what concealer I am going to use today. Do the Age Rewind Concealer. I can do that, and then I'm gonna ask you guys, what's next? Powder, what powder? I have so many different powders in here, and I love a lot of them. Pick a powder that you think I should use today. Also, should I contour? If I should, what contour products should I put on my face? Let me know. I haven't used this shade in a while. I usually use the neutralizer, but you guys, I like, I need to buy another one. Oh, this is nice, actually. It's a nice shade. All right, I have a beauty blender handy and we're just gonna dab this in. What powder, what contour, let's figure this out. Hi, Tati, I think that you should use um, the Laura Mercier powder and I do think that you should contour. I love you. Oh. All right, Laura Mercier, and I should contour. I'm gonna take that as permission to pick my own contour. <laughs> I'm gonna do the Kat Von D and Laura Mercier, and then let's find out what you guys think I should do as far as blush. And what should we do for blush? You guys can pick a brand. What kind of color? Should I go pink, peach, you know, more neutral, shimmery matte? Pick a brand. Let me know if you see one in here that you love. Or I have the palettes. I have my Natasha Denona, NARS, It Cosmetics, more NARS, Tarte, let me know. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make sure I have no creases underneath my eye, and then we're gonna go in with powder. And what I'm really into lately, like I kind of go through times when I love using this tool and when I don't, but I'm gonna take a velour puff and really like smash it in the powder, kind of get some of the excess off. And then I almost like to just roll and stamp this on the face 
and it just sets whatever foundation you are wearing so beautifully. Let's see what you guys want me to do for blush. James. James. Can you say pick the Lorac blush? Little baby James. Can you? Oh my gosh. Okay, it looks like Lorac blush is what we are gonna do. I'm still baking, so I'm gonna ask you guys what I should do for brows and shadow. We are at the brow drawer right here, and I wanna know you guys, what should I do? Pencil, should I do some wonder brow, brow pomade, a little gimme brow, powder, should I mix a few things? Let me know what you think I should do for brows. And then also, while we're here, should I do cream shadow, like something with ColourPop? Should I do a palette? I actually have other palettes I'll show you as well. Let's, uh, let's take a field trip. So this is the giant uh, palette bin that I have not really been through yet, but I'm sure you guys can you know, see a little bit of what I have. MAC palettes, Naked palettes, Urban Decay, Morphe, Makeup Forever. So what should I do as far as eye makeup and what style? Should it be colorful, smoky? You guys let me know what you want. All right guys, our adventure continues. I'm still baking and I have a blush set out and now I wanna hear from you what brow products we're gonna be using. Hey Tati, so I think for brows you should probably mix it because I feel like I at least mix like a pencil and a powder and I feel like I love it and then some little brow, like a tinted brow gel on top. We're gonna be using some uh, multiple brow items, which is my way to like do my brows. So I love that other people out there do the same thing and understand that it's actually a better way to make your brows look more natural to use different types of products. So I like to use a little itty bitty pencil and then I do go in sometimes with a pomade and on top of that, maybe feather in a little bit of powder. And that's just kind of a way that I am able to really build and make this turn into an actual like stronger brow. So I love that. And I will be sure to add a little color pop on top of whatever eye look I do. So thank you so much. And that was a super cute snap. It's brow time. I'll be back looking like a whole new woman in just a moment. All right guys, brows are on. What a dramatic difference that makes. I am going to dust off my bake and we're gonna blush the face with a little bit of Lorac. I wanna do something kind of peachy. I just, I don't know, I'm feeling like maybe you guys are gonna pick something in the, actually I don't know what you guys are gonna pick, but I'm gonna use Tinge. Oh my gosh, I forgot to contour. Okay, we're gonna do that right now. I am going to take the shade and light. I'm gonna use this shade right here. I'm gonna take a NARS Eda brush, just kind of stamp it in the product for a second. I'm gonna go right underneath my cheekbone. Whatever excess is on here, I'm just going to graze the sides of my nose. Not my best contouring moment. Usually I like to take a little foundation and almost go over it a little bit, but that's not happening. Okay, so we are moving on to eyeshadow. Let's take a peek at what you guys have to say as far as eyeshadow goes. Love you all the way from Kuwait. Could you please use the Marc Jacobs bronzer, please? Yeah, actually, whoa, I, did, I forgot I needed bronzer. Okay, we're gonna use Marc Jacobs bronzer. I'm still looking for what eyeshadow I need to do. You should do a colorful smoky eye. What color though? Okay, we're hopping on here. All right guys, I just opened a snap saying I should do a colorful smoky eye, but what color? Tell me what color. And if you have a palette request, let me know as well. Bronzer, bronzer. That's not bronzer. Wait, it's over here. Just kidding. Bronzer, bronzer. I'm gonna use the new one. Bam. Mm. It smells like island vacation. And somehow my contour looks like crap today. What happened? All right, let's see. You can do something fun with like a colorful glitter, like a Texas House of Glitters. Um, take one of those and pop it in the center maybe. Texas House of Glitters. I haven't played with those in a while. Oh my gosh, today's eye look is gonna get wild. We're using some ColourPop Texas House of Glitters. I'm gonna open a few more and see if there's like any specific request. 
Hey, Tati. Would love to see a bright inner eye with some color smudged under the lash line. Tati, I think you should use the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star. Oh! You guys, today's look, I really like, I'm just like so casual, like jeans and a gray tank. And we are about to dive into Jeffree Star, Blood Sugar, Texas House of Glitter, and ColourPop. It's gonna get a little extra on the eyes and I'm totally okay with it. So let me go grab those products. I think I'm gonna use Summer Lovin'. Yes. And over here we go. She clearly does not have enough eyeshadow. All right, you guys, this is such a good palette. Like, A, the packaging is just so nice and sturdy, and I love the colors in here. I've played around with this a bunch. I haven't had a chance to use it on camera, so this will be fun. How far do we want to go with this? Because we're playing with such a fun palette, I am gonna do something a little different for me. I mean, this is not gonna be wild. It'll be wild for me, but you guys know what I'm saying. I'm gonna take Tongue Pop. This is a little more colorful than what I normally would start my eye look with, but why not, you know? These blend so nicely. I'm always surprised every time I use this, and I actually really want the Thirsty palette. I think that launches soon. Did it already launch? Oh my gosh, there's just so much makeup launching, sometimes I cannot even keep track. Now that I have that color really built up, I am going to move on to... I think I'm gonna do this one right here, you guys. We're just kind of playing with new things. I might look crazy, but it'll be a fun time. Okay, I'm gonna go into Prick. And I'm gonna start, actually I wanna pull this through the whole crease. All right, now I'm gonna take an even smaller brush and we are now going to go into Cherry Soda right here. I'm gonna start focusing on the outer half. I'm gonna take a clean brush and kind of just fluff everything together. Make sure those edges are staying nice and blurred. I'm gonna take the same brush. We're gonna move next door into Fresh Meat, which is more of a blackberry, kind of burgundy purple situation. And I'm going to start on the outer edge and jump it up to my crease just a little bit. And because I cannot resist continuing on even more, I'm gonna go into Coma and I'm gonna take a different brush. This is a Makeup Geek brush. It is the Defined Crease brush. I'm gonna dip into here and just kind of stamp that on the outer edge. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is take the ColourPop in the shade Summer Loving and I'm just gonna use my fingertips and press this on the lid and then we're just going to put a little bit of glitter on top. And now we are really going for it, you guys. I'm gonna go into, uh, should I use glitter glue? Yes, I should. I have actually never tried this before. This is from BH Cosmetics. This is a glitter base. So we're just going to take a tiny dabble of this, tap it right in the center where I'm going to be placing the glitter. Oh yeah, that is nice and sticky. And I'm gonna go in with this like champagne shade. Bam. All right, I think I'm really liking this. It's a lot, I mean, this is a lot of color. I am going to smoke out the lower lash line just a tiny little bit. We're just gonna kind of mimic what's going on on the top. Since you're doing a more colorful eye look, I think you should let that stand out and do a more toned down liner and lash. Oh. Or just go all out and do full glam. Well, she gave me the option to do either. I'm gonna do a non-colorful liner. We're just gonna do like a clean black liner. And then I think, honestly, I think I need a big lash with this. So let's do that. And then I'm gonna ask you guys, all right, you guys, the journey is coming close to an end and everything so far has been so good. You guys are awesome. So I'm about to lash and line, but I still need a highlighter. So let me know what highlighter you think I should use. Also, what should the lip situation be? Because you can kind of see through this filter that I have a lot going on on the eyes. Let me know, should we do like a red liquid lip or keep it neutral? You decide. Can you grab out of there my Lash Paradise mascara? And what was the name of the brand? L'Oreal, it's like a pink tube of mascara. Mascara. 
This is what I get when, when my stepson helps me out. I'll give you $5 if you can find it. Money, please. How about, how about I'll shave your eyebrows off? So you guys, I have uh, Taylor sitting and helping me like capture like the vloggy kind of footage. Taylor, tell them what your favorite nickname for me is. Tatters. And? Tat McGrath. Tat McGrath. <laughs> I don't know why, when that started, but I kind of love it. Okay, let's put on some lashes. I'm going to load up my lashes with some Lash Paradise. A bunch of you guys were just saying, Lash Paradise, Lash Paradise, even though I hadn't asked like what mascara I should use. So we're just gonna go with it. All right, I'm gonna be putting on these Lily Lashes, the diamonds. I need to be like this close to the mirror, especially with the glitter situation. So I will be right back. And I am fully outside of my comfort zone right now. I love the lashes. I actually really love this look, but then I kind of look at the clock and I'm like, oh, it's like the afternoon and I'm, you know, it's, it's a lot of glitter. We need some lips, definitely. So let me see what you guys are saying. Say hi, Mungo. Definitely a nude lip, but a darker one. A dark nude lip, maybe the chocolate collection, I think that's perfect. Okay. Yes, chocolate collection. Let's do... Which one? I think the lighter one is gonna be better. God, these smell so good, you guys. If you wanna see me try on all of these, I will link that video below. Mm, mm. It makes me just really want pudding. This makeup kind of makes me look evil. Like I'm gonna go and like, I'm so not evil. I can't even think of an evil activity, but I feel like I look evil. You know what I need? <gasps> I'm not wearing highlighter. You guys, the, the whole thing is almost coming to a close. I almost shut the video down and then I realized, oh my gosh, I need highlights. So help a gal out really quickly. Just give me a shout out through a snap video of what kind of highlight I should put on with this look. This is not a video, but it's the first one that I opened. Putty Highlight, I have that from Stila right behind me. Oh my gosh, where's the putty highlighter? Oh my goodness, stop it. Did you use it in a video recently? Oh my God, this is gonna make me more of a hoarder that I'm like, I lost the one that I like. I'm gonna use a jelly highlight, close enough. And she's done. Dang, you guys, I am like ready for a night on the town. I actually really, really love this look. I think it's super pretty. I think it's super different. It is not something that I would normally sit down and do. And that's exactly why I wanted to do a video like this, just because it's more hangout and just like laid back and playing with makeup that I already have on hand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave me comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Leave me requests. And also, if you are not subscribed, please, hit the subscribe button and make sure that the notification bell is rung so that you don't miss any of my videos. I upload Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST and I'm basically just always here playing with makeup. So I hope that you come back and hang out with me again. Hope that you enjoyed this and I love you guys so much. I will see you next time. Mwah.